You may have noticed how much was automatically generated by Genexus from the two objects we defined. Now, let's suppose at the pharmacy we are told that for each product they want to record an image. To do that, we go back to Genexus. In the product transaction, we have just to enter an attribute called product photo. We set it as image type because it enables us to store images. To do so, we click on Save and see that the web interface is automatically updated, including the product photo attribute. We press F5 and Genexus will evaluate the impact caused by the new definitions in the knowledge base. Let's see the impact analysis report. Remember that the impact analysis report indicates the structural changes required in the database. The report's main title indicates that in this case, the database needs to be reorganized. The term reorganize implies the task of making changes to the database. In this particular case, the report says that the product table must be updated. By clicking on the reorganize button, Genexus will create and execute the programs that will change the database. Then it will generate the required programs for the application. will immediately have the application running again in the web browser, with a new definition included. We go to the product transaction and see that the new definition is already included, with the option to upload a photo. Again, if you remember the product code, you may enter it here or select it from a list by clicking on the Must Select button. From there, you can retrieve the product Star Muscular Pain Medicine, where all its details are loaded and we can upload its photo. The window that opens allows us to upload a file or directly enter the URL of the image. In this case, we'll upload the file and confirm. So now we can upload the images of the products we enter. This is where we'll need to control the behavior of our application. In the next video, we'll see how to do it.